Namaskar and greetings to all. This is Rajani Sresta, a graduate student of geology from Tribhuvan University, two times recipient of the Namra Foundation Scholarship from the Department of Geology, Trichanda Multiple Campus, and recipient of the 18th Executive Excellent Award from Nepal Geological Society. I am one of the applicants for this year's NASA Women in Science Award for student category. And in this video, I'd like to share with you what I've done till date and what my plans for the future are. So uh, to begin, I study geology and geology is the study of the earth. Broadly speaking, it is the study of earth materials and earth processes, what the earth is made up of and how it functions. Geologists like me study fossils, which are remains of prehistoric animals, such as this ammonite uh, structures made in the earth as a result of the processes occurring in, in it, such as this falls in the Kagbenia area of Nepal, resources which are really necessary for fulfilling our day-to-day -day needs, and geohazards, which occur in many parts of the world. So underneath all these applications of geology lies a solid understanding of the properties of rocks. This is me standing near a cliff made up of sandstones and mudstones of Sivaliks of Nepal. As a student of geology, I have mapped different areas of Nepal, such as Maleku and Palpa, and prepared geological maps and engineering geological route maps. I've studied rocks, both macroscopically and microscopically. I have applied techniques of exploration geology to explore the reserves of iron deposits, sandstone deposits, and riverbed materials. I have interpreted geophysical data for subsurface investigation. I have analyzed the stability of rock slopes. I have also performed paleoenvironmental inter interpretations and paleocurrent direction analysis. This is an example of a work that I have done, a section of a geological map of Maliku Dadin area that me and my team of five girls prepared. I'm also trained in geospatial analysis in using tools like ArcGIS and QGIS I was selected to participate in a workshop called Empowering Women in Geospatial Information Technology by EC Mode. I also mapped uh, some vulnerable communities as a digital volunteer in OpenStreetMap. I have volunteered as a young scientist in Young Scientist Nepal, a forum by Resources Himalaya Foundation. I have worked as a part-time teacher for several years and during that time organized and facilitated different science exhibitions. I've also edited a science magazine called GeoWorld produced by the final year undergraduates of Department of Geology in Three Tanda Multiple Campus. I have uh, taken part in knowledge sharing forums through the Bhuvan University Society of Exploration Geophysicist student chapter, which I helped to establish. And as a teacher, I've always encouraged my students to pursue science STEM related uh, careers. This is me in a module for OpenStreetMap by Youth Innovation Lab Nepal. In my future, I want to be a prominent geoscientist. My primary research in interests include seismology and geodynamics. I'm also uh, interested in mineralogy, petrology, geophysics, and tectonics. In the future, I will be a strong advocate for more research and hands-on practical learning in the universities in Nepal. I want to pass on my skills of geology, GIS, OSM, and any skills that I learned along the way. I want to encourage girls to continue their passion for STEM and not lose hope. And I will definitely be a part of a platform that helps in uplifting women in STEM in Nepal. So NASA Women in Science Award is really important for me because it will definitely help me in my academic pursuits, but it will also in improve visibility for my work. And through this, I want people to understand that Women in sciences are not just limited to the laboratory. And there are women out there in the fields. Uh, obviously, the scenario in Nepal is not uh, so good, but change is inevitable and we need to bring change. I dedicate my participation in this award to all the women in sciences in Nepal, especially in field-based sciences who are out there and who are challenging gender stereotypes and who are bringing change. As Ralph Waldo Emerson, so famously said, the person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. And I want all girls to realize that they can be whoever they want to be. 
and me getting NASA Women in Science Award will be a proof for this belief. Thank you. Thank you for your time.